Hey folks, in this video we're going to be looking at how to download the emulator for the Casio FX8200AU. So, what are the things you're going to need? First off, you're going to need the calculator itself. Second, you're going to need a mobile device or a cell phone uh, and a laptop PC to actually register your license. So, I'm going to try and follow these instructions which I struggle to do. Now these instructions do come with your calculator so let's kind of go through one at a time here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the calculator on and we're going to go into settings and at this point you're going to get a QR code and what you would need to do is scan the QR code using your mobile phone. Once you have the QR code open up a QR code reader on your cell phone there we go. Now what you're going to come into is the Casio Worldwide Education Service website. Now it does have a user guide here for this calculator but what it's also done is it's actually scanned your uh, calculator model number. I think that's your model number. Looks like an ID of some sort and what you should be able to do is click on issue license and that's going to give you a nine digit code is it? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, maybe nine digit more than that. Well, it's going to issue a license and you need to actually uh, write this code down somewhere. So I'm going to click on issue license. Now, there's my license code right there. So let me just take that down. Now, I'm going to copy license code. Now, I'm not sure if that's an I or a 1, but um, I guess we'll find out when we actually enter the um, license in the website. Now, as for the next part, folks, I'm going to jump onto the computer just to show you guys what the emulator looks like on a PC. All right, so let's open up this emulator online. So in Google, type in Classpad, and the one you want to be clicking on is classpad.net. There we go. Once you're here, click on the new registration. Now you can actually register with an email address. I am going to just register with my Google account. Now at this point, you need to enter all your details. And of course, you can click on uh, whether you like to receive offers or products and services and so on. Up to you. So you'll be sent in verification code. Just open up your email and get the verification code. Now this is just for some of you folks who would be considered a minor, just making sure that your parents have or your guardians have read the privacy statement. So we're gonna go into your license. Uh, we do have a license code and there's the nine digit license code. Now hopefully I've actually put in the right number or letter. I couldn't tell whether it was an I or a one. Well, that didn't work so might try the one actually let me try in caps there we go it's got to be in caps and not in small letters so i guess i can choose the date okay i'm going to choose today cool so just set the date that you want this license to start from and we're going to click on next so this license is for four years click on enable now it's time to find the actual calculator where is it there we go class bad math let's try that let's try this oh whoa i'm trying to find the 8200 can't seem to find it unless I missed it somewhere. Oh, there we go. FX8200AU. I click on that. I'm trying to see what the sticky note is. Pop up screen. That's good. So, oh no. That's just a pop up of that screen. Now, once you're in this particular mode, folks, then you just use the calculator as normal. So, go into calculate mode. And I think it all works exactly the same way. Oh no. I like to do square root of 48, which is, seems to my be my favorite number here. Does the shift exe work? Yes, it does. So I think it's pretty much works exactly like the actual calculator. It just works as an emulator online. So there's a few extra buttons here. I guess we could click on graph. Okay, that's going to give me a little grid paper to work with. And I guess we can actually chuck in a, an equation here. So what if I just go x plus three? All right, let's draw me a straight line graph here. I might need some more time to explore this folks as you can see folks it's fairly straightforward scan the qr code get the uh, nine digit license code digit slash alphanumeric license code make sure you put that in caps when you enter it at classpad and then you should be good to go to use this emulator online